Here's a really large piece that I adhered the uh, paper onto the board and I just wanted to explain that um, this is a large piece, a big job, and it, it's really helpful to have a person help you if you're working on such a large scale because what this is is four sheets of 22 by 30 Arches Oil paper and it's been adhered to cradle panels. So you can kind of see the seam. There's one seam between two of the paintings. And then over here, because it was meant to be a diptych, here's the other seam. And you know, you can kind of disguise some of that, but I did cut off the deckled edge and tried to get the marks to match up really well. Hi, Vincent. <laughs> this is the largest one I ever tried to adhere to. Here I want to show you my table where I am about to adhere a painting onto a board. And here's what I have kind of waiting and ready so that I don't have to look around for things when the time comes. So first of all, when you're done um, adhering your painting to the board, you're going to need some weight. So I grabbed some of my heavier books and this is the number that I have. You kind of see the size of them compared to the size of this painting, which is 22 by 30. And the painting is dry and it's cold wax and oil. And then I have a board uh, that I'm going to be adhering this painting to. And it's a cradle panel. You can see it's wrapped in plastic. Here's the plastic. I'm going to take the plastic off, obviously. But um, I just want to show you that if I lay the board on top of the painting, you can see that there's excess all the way around the perimeter of the board. In general, if you plan ahead and you know you're going to work on paper, try to work in sizes that you know it's easy to get a corresponding uh, cradle board for. If you work in odd sizes, then you're going to have to get a, a custom board made and you know that can get pretty expensive. So, so anyways, I just want to show you that there is an excess beyond the panel. Then I have some you know, paper towels handy. I've got my Messermeister or any silicone tool or a brush for spreading the adhesive. I've got an X-Acto blade here. And then I have my gloves. I have some paper towels. And as far as the adhesive I use, this is an adhesive I like to use, um, but it's not the only thing that you can use. Um, this is uh, Lineco and it says EVA neutral pH adhesive and, and then it says university products and um, this is originally um, recommended to me by the people at Gamblin. They said that well if I'm going to um, attach canvas to board then I should use this. So I wrote on here you know pre-primed I have pre-primed canvas and I wrote a note on here so I wouldn't forget what it's for but since that time I found that this works really well to adhere your painting, your painting that's on paper onto the panel. But you can also use Golden's products. They've got, you know, various gels. It doesn't matter whether it's gloss or medium, but um, the main thing is that you just want to choose your adhesive and then make sure that you've got enough of it so that it's really going to secure your painting. All right, so here is my panel and I'm going to just take the plastic off. There's no need to tape off the sides or do any of that because even if I get a little bit of glue on the sides, I can sand it off. You know, I just don't think it's really necessary to go the extra step of putting tape on the side. So I'm going to just dump some out and you don't have to go overboard. And um, I'm just going to do this and spread it around with this mess or meister. Be kind of generous with um, the amount that I put on here at first. So again, go to the corners, go to the edges. And I'm almost done here. This Messermeister tool works really well because it has a pretty wide covering edge here. And again, get the edges, the corners. <laughs> and you don't have to do this in a big rush. You've got time. Make sure you've got a brayer handy. So I'm going to move this and put my glassine down first. It's my protective layer. Then I put the painting face down. Move this out of the way. Here's the glued part. I'm going to put it like this and I'm going to watch the edges. Okay, so once you've positioned it, and the reason I put it on the back side like this with the painting side down is because I can see if the board is kind of centered on the 
painting. Okay, so now the painting is face side up. Take the glass stain. You can also use wax paper or freezer paper. Now this is kind of an important step. Uh, take a brayer, start from the middle, and you know, using some pressure, not too much, but you wanna work from the center out, and you're just making sure that every part of your painting on paper is touching that adhesive. Let's do this a couple times. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna turn this upside down again, again with that protective glassing underneath. And then I put all my weights on the back side. This, okay, all right. So then we just wait and then uh, tomorrow I'll come in, let this sit overnight and I'll show you how I trim the edges and hopefully all went well. Hey everyone, so I'm, I'm back in the morning now and gonna check on uh, how well the painting that I showed you yesterday has adhered to the cradled panel. And I also have a very sharp blade here, it's brand new. I'm gonna take all the weight off right now. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up. Yep, looks good. Okay, so now, okay, here's my brand new blade. So I'm hoping you can see this okay but I'm just gonna start with this edge that's right near the camera so you can kind of see here. So here again is the cradle panel and then here is the painting that's, that's adhered and below it is this sheet of glassing and then here's my cutting mat. So I'm gonna take this very sharp razor blade. It's never been used. I just start to trim. Be really slow and careful. Try not to catch the cradle itself it's not that hard to go through Arches oil paper. So when I lift this up here, you can kind of see this first edge. Turn it around here. Okay, so there's the first edge. Okay, and then the last short end. So yeah, I've got a couple scraps that you can see there is uh, there is paint on some of these edges that I cut off, but. Uh, it's better to have that than to have your paper smaller than the board, so you're going to lose a little bit of your painting. So just to get sort of an idea here of the edges, you can kind of see how nice and clean that is. Okay, all the way around. And as far as adhesion goes, and you want to just feel on the edge and make sure that everything is good and, and secured on there, corners, and this seems really good. Um, it's awesome because now it feels like, you know, like I did it right on the board in the first place. It's really nice.